Math 100 Lab 3. I'm going to look at some order of operations problems and uh, how to incorporate use for graphing calculator as we do that. Uh, remember that with order of operations, you want to follow uh, the parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction order uh, from left to right on all of those. Uh, but so grouping symbols like parentheses uh, should be done first, followed by exponents. Multiplication and division done left to right, and then addition and subtraction done left to right. Uh, so let's look at a few examples of some problems like you'll encounter in lab three. Uh, so we have six minus two times two, all divided by 18 plus five. So what you want to visualize here when it's written like this is that this top part is in a grouping symbol and the bottom part is in a separate grouping symbol so that you can work them separately. Uh, so we want to work the top part first. Uh, using order of operations, that shows us that we have a 6 minus a multiplication problem. So the multiplication should happen first. So that ends up being 6 minus 4 on the top. And then we would simplify that. 6 minus 4 would be 2. We could then do the addition on the bottom. 18 plus 5 would be uh, 23. And then that fraction does not reduce. If you wanted to use your graphing calculator to help you do these problems, that's very possible, but you have to think about the grouping symbols. So we would need to write in two, 6 minus 2 times 2 in parentheses divided by parentheses 18 plus 5 and close those parentheses. And that would get us the, the problem that, that was described in example 1 there. We could hit enter. Uh, my calculator is set to give me decimal answers automatically. To turn that into a fraction, I hit math and then the enter button twice. And I've turned that into 2 over 23, which is the same thing I got by doing it by hand. Okay. Looking at example 2, we've got uh, some multiplication happening, some exponents, and some negative signs in there. Uh, so we've got to think about doing uh, order of operations. Well, those parentheses are just really separating the 4 and the negative 6. And the five and the negative five, so uh, those don't aren't really grouping operations together. Uh, then the next step would be exponents. So we look at that and say, oh, that negative six has an exponent of a two, so negative six squared would be positive thirty six. So this is that goes, and then there's another exponent there, five times negative five squared, so negative five squared would be twenty five. And remember, every time you square something, it turns to a positive. Um, so, and then we would multiply 4 times 36, uh, which would be 144, and then 5 times 25 is 100, and then we could do the addition uh, last, which would be 244. Now the great thing about the graphing calculator is you can do all that at once uh, just by typing in 4 parentheses negative, and the negative is down here uh, below the 3. 6, close the parentheses, and to get the squared, you could use this button over here to the left, uh, and that gets you a squared, and it's plus 5 parentheses, negative 5. And another way to get an exponent, and here we need a squared, but if you needed a cubed or to a fourth power or something like that, you could use the caret symbol, which is right underneath the clear button, right there, and it puts it up in the exponent form. You put a 2 there. That's another way to square something. And I misadded and got two. That should be 125 right there. Again, a good way to check your <coughs> yourself where you're uh, working these out. So it's actually 269. Okay. All right. Last example. We have an evaluation problem where we we're given a problem that has x's, y's, and z's variables involved, and we're asked to work it out given that x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5, and z is equal to negative 6. So we're going to plug those in in the place of each variable. And then work that out. So we think order of operations here, parentheses happens first. So that's going to be 5 minus negative 6 should be 11. And then next order of operation would be multiplication. 
fraction. So there are no exponents involved. So that'd be six minus fifty-five, which would be negative forty-nine as a result. Again, you could do that in your calculator by you know plugging it in just as it's written here in the blue line there. Three parentheses two. Minus five parentheses, five minus negative six. Not the right number. Yeah. And then hit enter. And there we have negative 49. Correct answer there. Okay. So in lab three, uh, you're doing some order of operations problems and uh, kind of checking yourself with your graphing calculator, getting a little more familiar with using the graphing calculator for just number operations, okay?